Hey guys, it's Eric. It's Tim. And we are DNA Manager and Board Games. So, today, what we're going to do is show you the hot water trick. It's magic. So, if you have a figure that's bent over, like this one, or this one, what you should be able to do is heat some water up, like we have in this bowl, stick it in, and it should retake its original form. Depending on how hot your water is, depends on how fast this actually works. Unfortunately, y'all aren't close enough to see it like we are, but you can tell that the base was moving. <laughs> that is, uh, that is pretty, pretty substantial. Sometimes you just gotta hold it a little bit till it cools off the rest of the way. Now, this trick works with regular plastic like this pretty quickly. If you're using like uh, Mantic Restic, screw that, let's put them in there. If you're using uh, like Mantic's Restic or anything, it takes a little bit longer. But what it's supposed to do is the hot water should take the figure and have it reform the way it was originally done. You know, this one was, was bent fairly severely. Mm hmm So. But I think it was supposed to be over a little bit. We're just blowing out a little bit to cool it down. Now you can also do this trick. Say you want to reposition an arm. Mm hmm Uh or a leg or something like in a running pose. You can use the same trick with that. And it should do the same thing. We'll put both these guys in there right now. Let them sit at the bottom for a minute. Now this works a lot of times if you get figures out that have um, bent spears or swords or something. You stick them in there and a lot of they'll just slowly go right back into the form they were supposed to be in. It's kind of like taking a piece of paper and creasing it. You know, the paper, paper was meant to be flat and it gets creased, so you take it to uncrease the crease, you fold it the opposite way, and then you lay it back flat. Or, you take a lot of weight press it on top of like let's say you have several of them that are creased you lay it on top a lot of weight and it presses it back to its original form now remember too folks you're going to be using hot water hence i have tongs yeah tongs to tong tong tongs and remember you don't want to use boiling water because you'll just melt your figures then now I'm going to move this out of the way. And you'll notice that these figures are pretty much taking a semi original form again. Mm -hmm. And they're standing up a lot better. Yeah, much better than they were. Previously, they were just like falling all over the place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was the first thing I noticed about the, the red one was it was definitely bent off at an angle that did not look natural. So guys, that's the hot water trick. It works. It works. Sometimes you gotta play with it a little bit, but nothing. I think the I don't think I had the water hot enough though for well, these. You know the the fact of the matter is though is that it works. Um, you've seen it right here. Nothing is a hundred percent perfect, um, but the difference in having a a, a warped up figure uh, that looks you know ich and falls over rest right you know or doesn't doesn't stay in its position and stuff like that you know there's a big difference so because this be one able, was actually 
looked like it was falling over. Yeah. And now at least you know it's kind of a lot better. And of course, what was the name of this one? Supernova. Supernova looked like she was falling over. Yeah. And I mean, Supernova. Well, she is, wouldn't even is, stand up. Right. She's she's standing up perfectly now. So. Now remember, if you're using a larger plastic or a Mantix Rustic, you're gonna have to put it, leave it in the water a little bit longer. Um, but like I said, you can use this to either repair figures when you first get them, or, or after you've had them for a while. Yeah. Or you can adjust figures. Yep. And you can change poses. Really quick and easy. You know, it's a lot better than cutting an arm in half and having to angle it and glue it, and then you have to hope it stays because you know. It doesn't matter. No matter how much glue you use, these things don't stay together. <laughs> but, you know, it's going to be something that probably the first time you do it on your own, you might have to experiment. You know, once again, don't use boiling water. Um, you know, you use it uh, water that's hot enough to generate steam. You can see the around the top of the, the bowl here, you can see that there's condensation on it. Is enough to generate steam is enough to you know you probably could have put your fingers in it and it wouldn't have killed anything but you know once again you know you be be uh, careful use something to, to reach down into the water and get your figures and place them um, you know but it is a it's a great way to save them a great way to manipulate them in different poses and once again you we saw just, how quick it was. Yeah, we just we just showed you it works. Um, so instead of you know writing angry emails uh, to the, to the manufacturers and stuff for and, things that they can't control, right? You know things happen. You know try and fix it yourself. But like I said, be careful with it. Don't hurt yourself. It is hot water. Yeah, you know, and and it it can it can you know it can hurt you. I. Uh, PSA, I don't know. I'm having a having a rough, rough bit here. <laughs> That's because you don't do a lot of modeling. I don't. Well, you know, underwear modeling. Now I'm going to have that vision in my head all night, thanks. So will you. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully this helps you out, and it just adds on to some of our modeling videos we've done, uh, just like some of the uh, zombie side figures that I've done painting on and if you try it at home uh, and it works and you have good results you know maybe take a before and after send it to us put it on our Facebook yep. page YouTube uh, you know d and &E miniature and board games YouTube Facebook you know we'd love to see y'all's results as well uh, but once again be careful hot water <laughs> It sounds simple and it sounds crazy, but, you know, <laughs> it works, but it could potentially hurt you. So make sure you're using everything that you need to use. Now, also, most of the time when you put, like, figures in this, they will just pop back in to their original shape. These we had to manipulate a little bit. A little bit. I think it's because I didn't have the water hot enough or I didn't leave them in there long enough. So just remember that. It's don't start out with figures you like try this out with figures that you really don't care about you're, you're not gonna you're not gonna mess them up any worse than they already are if you're trying to fix them then obviously there, there's something wrong with them but yeah like I said experiment get it right and and you know fix your 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 broken and discarded toys uh, and then They're you know figures. <laughs> go from there uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, so it, it, it is a process. You, you do have to figure it out. This jackass has been doing it for a while, um, which is why. And Don's been doing it for a while, too. Well, he's a jackass, too. Um, but that's why. What? I, want, I didn't want to make him feel left out. So that's why, you know, he took the lead on this. And, and you see he did not let me play with anything. Um, so there, there's reason for that. But remember, guys, just heat up hot water, heat up some water. You don't want it boiling in your bowl. And place the figure in there, and you will see them slowly start retaking their shape. If and they don't, just pull them out. They're up, once they've kind of pliable, 
and just put them to the shape you want yeah, and, them. and naturally it doesn't have to be some kind of clear because if you notice these guys have cooled down and they haven't popped back into the really bad off the wall shape i mean this one's kind of gone back over a little yeah. bit but not not horrible but yeah and also a note is we used a clear bowl for filming purposes where yeah you know whatever you got that'll hold hot water uh and, and not burn you in in uh i think the first time coffee. i used a coffee mug yeah best that's, thing too because a guy handle so that's the first thing when he said let's try it i was like well get a coffee mug he's searching through his cabinets and i was like get a coffee mug he's like we're i was like oh yeah can't see through it but anyways guys as always game on game on folks No sé.